Good morning, traders. I'm Dan Pavalona, Senior Market Strategist here at RGO Futures. I'm here to talk about the currencies, uh, more specifically the dollar index and the euro. And um, we've seen a dramatic week so far. Uh, we've seen a couple of things happen. The dollar, after a nice rally over the last several months, has been pulling back normal corrections. But a couple of other variables are happening right now. The ECB has yet to lay out a specific date when they're going to ramp up their ABS program, and QE is set to end at the end of this month. So QE ends without this ABS program may have a, a, an issue here. And I think that's that's one of the reasons why there's a lot of risk being taken off the table. Nice run in the, in the dollar, takes them off the table. Nice run in stocks, taking some off the table. And uh, flight to quality from this risk into interest rate uh, markets, U.S. interest rate markets, Thus, buying, purchasing those those uh, those markets and, and lowering the interest rate uh, makes it more attractive to keep euro-denominated rates over in Europe. For instance, give me an example. Uh, last week, ten-year uh, German ten-year yield was higher, or I'm sorry, lower than what the U.S. ten-year yield was. Thus, uh, making it more attractive to move from euro, uh, euro currency, euro treasuries into U.S. treasuries and uh, giving the Fed leeway to step away from the market. Um, this, this transition has actually slowed down a lot. And in fact, this, this week so far, the U.S. 10-year uh, yield is actually lower than, uh, lower than the German 10-year boon. So um, with that being said, I think there's a lot of uh, questions right now. And I think a lot of this actually hinges on whether or not the, the uh, ECB is actually going to uh, come to fruition with their ABS program. If that happens, I expect to see the dollar uh, regain its rally and, and move higher. And um, if that doesn't happen, which is the question mark right now, and probably creating a lot of volatility in the market, is uh, um, is wait and see. So if you have any questions, you want to talk about this a little bit more, give me a call at Dan Pavalona, Senior Market Strategist here at RGO Futures. Thanks. Bye. Futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors.